there's a problem with the back bearing um, it's worn excessively uh, I can't possibly run it but also um, it it moves that way now it's right to the drawing but it's best if it's not like that because um, it wobbles around too much if you look at the book that's 5.5 there wants to be something like 4.8 4.7 it wants to be under 5 milli and then when you screw the turbine wheel on it's got to locate on that 6.5 diameter and on the thread and it's got to nip up the centre of the bearing on this area here so this needs to be less than 5 milli not 5.5 um, and just be very very careful you don't make the shaft any longer than what it's supposed to be the shaft length 112 plus 1 milli at each end so that's 114 absolute maximum 114 if you make it any longer um, you'll get tr trouble um, this it can be all one piece I've said this before um, and this this can be 12 milli if it's all one piece and steel it can be all 12 milli so it's just a parallel shaft doesn't need to be tapered also to aid location and give you more area to fit things on better this 9mm diameter here eight for your compressor wheel make that 11 right so the 9mm area of 8mm diameter uh, wants to be 11 and that'll just mean if you've met it you've met it but it just means that um, there's more location area for the compressor wheel so it, that stops that wobbling uh, these are like important like I said that 6.5 uh, it needs to be as per the drawing uh, on the on the turbine wheel where that is on the turbine wheel six point five needs to be a good fit on the shaft 6.5 um, okay that's it for now